Hello, it's me, Browner Boy, and today I'm doing some bit different. I'm here in my redstone world, and I saw a comment on one of my videos. Can't remember who posted it now, but they said do some redstone tutorials. So here I am doing some redstone tutorials. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to do this three by three door here. Now I've built it on super flat, but and I've kind of like built a house around all the redstone. But this is uh, very good for building an underground. It's better to build underground with this because this can be like covered with like the, um, the walls. So build this in a cave. I recommend. I wouldn't recommend building this above ground unless you want to build a massive structure like this. Or if you can find a way to somehow put it all underground, then go ahead and do that. But my main thing is I'm not gonna make it compact. I'm not gonna try and well I'll try and make it as compact as possible. But literally I'm just gonna show you the base some basic redstone things. Um, how to make a simple door. It may not look simple. The noise came as it were opened. But anyway, um, it may not look simple, but it's just a simple door. Like this, look. Opens up, you can walk through. That doesn't usually happen. Press this button, opens back up. Okay. Now, first things first though, before we get anywhere close to doing this, okay. I'll quickly show you some of the redstone. Now, is, uh, make sure I'm not breaking anything. This looks really complicated, I know. Um, but before we start, I kind of want to do some redstone basics because if you want to get into building redstone like things like this or maybe some bigger things and you've not used redstone before, then I definitely recommend watching this bit. If not, there'll be an annotation to when I actually start building the door if you already know about redstone. But redstone torch obviously is a power source. Now, um, what a lot of people don't know is is if you just power a torch like that, it's just it's just normal like this. But if I was to put a block here. And then put a torch here. The torch would actually go off. And then if I gave a signal to this one, this would turn off, and this one would turn on. It sounds complicated, but I'll show you in action later. So by giving this redstone signal here, this block basically acts as redstone now. So if I was to put another bit of redstone there, um, sorry, a redstone torch on here onto the block, the redstone signal passes through into this torch and turns it off. It kind of like counteracts the signal. And I know it sounds really complicated. But trust me, when you get to know it, it's all good. So here's another example. If I was to place redstone torch and put, um, oops, didn't mean that. Redstone torch, uh, redstone repeater, this block is now powered. If I could do the same with the piston. Oh, that's a redstone torch. I could do the same with the piston. Look, that's now powered through this. So this comes through here and into this. If I was to do this, I believe this works, yeah. This is what I mean. This is giving redstone to this, so this basically counts as redstone, which then passes into the piston, powering it, and it'd be a power uh, sticky piston, so that'll stay on there. If I was to break this, it would come down. If I was to put it back, it would go back up. And that's pretty much what the pressure plate's doing. It's kind of cutting off the signal. So when this is up, like they are now, see, so I was to put a pressure plate here. Uh, I don't think this will work actually, but you can see up and down. But we need to counteract that somehow, and I'll show you how you do that now. Here's some other redstone basics. So, this is the main thing. That, this is the most complicated thing about this build. Now, I don't know what it's called, but what it is, is um, if I. How am I going to do this? Yeah. So, pretty much, when we first start building the door, we want the pistons to be facing like. This will be. Like, this sticky piston will be in the ground with the block on top of it pushing the block up so they'll be out like that now if I was to step onto this pressure plate it will apply a redstone signal which will turn off the redstone torch on the other side because like I said signal counteracts this and turns it off which will turn this redstone off which will turn this off meaning the doors will go down when you step on the pressure plate which is what that happens there and when I come off of the pressure plate it goes back up again which you want it to do so uh, this might sound really complicated but when you see it in action it'll be a lot more self-explanatory so yeah, let's get straight into the build. Now first thing to do is find a place where you want to do it. Like I said, it's best to do it underground. And you just want to place three pressure pads where you kind of like want the door to be. It's good to dig out a three by three kind of area like that. Um, but build, give a lot of space. Now here's another little redstone basic you might not know. If you dig under, um, if I just make a little space here. If you dig under a pressure plate, like I said about giving signal to blocks. If I was to stand on this pressure plate, then this block here would re retrieve a redstone signal, meaning that the redstone will pass down into this redstone, turning it on. So if I show you, look, so this is connected. If I stand on it, it's turned on. If I stand off it, it's turned off. Now, a lot of people didn't know that, and that's kind of basic when it comes to redstone. Um, 
So as you can see, we want the doors to be up straight away, um, meaning that, and it just need to. I don't even know how you set it to t day, so I'm not going to. Yes, I do. Set day. Oh, slash set day. Let's not worry about that. But anyway, we want these to be up first. And for the pistons to actually be activated, they need a redstone signal. And at the moment, without standing on the pressure plates, they haven't got a redstone signal. Now, this is where um, that thing I was on about comes in. If I dig down a bit, kind of like this. Like I said, I'll try and keep it as compact as possible, but it is quite hard to keep this compact. Like I said, it's better to do it underground. Now, if I was to run this redstone down here, um, put this like this. And put a redstone torch there. Okay, so this is what you got so far. I'll try and do it as slow as possible while well, I kind of just want to get through this. Now, like I said, when redstone signal is applied, if you watch the light there, it's good it's night actually, so you can see if I apply redstone signal, that torch goes off, meaning the pistons will come down. Yeah, you know where I'm going with this? So it'll be on when I'm not on the pressure plates, meaning the pistons the door will be up. When I step on it, the doors will come down, meaning I can step through. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I actually don't want that yet. I'm going to put the pistons in place like this. Um, I'm going to put that there so it's not actually connecting to the piston. So we don't want that. Um, and I'm just going to use diamond blocks to use as the door way like I have on the other ones. So look, these will be activated when I connect them up, meaning they'll come up like above one up, so where we want the actual door. So this this thing here is like the main kind of control circuit kind of thing so this redstone torch here has to connect with all the pistons in the door so they'll all be turned on but when it's counteracted by the redstone they'll all go down and you can walk through and this is where it sounds really complicated if you haven't used redstone before I know um, but don't panic about it um, you'll get it sorted so what am I doing here I actually need to do this one more up I believe like that Oh, I want that there. Um, actually, I want... Hang on. Like that. Yeah, I need this one more out as well, because I'm just thinking where they'll be if they're pushed in kind of thing. This needs to go one more up. I um, think that's right, yeah. So if I now attach... Hang on, how am I going to do this? Sticky piston, sticky piston, like that. Um, if I quickly just shove a bit of sandstone there and kind of just put the sticky pistons onto the blocks that will actually be opening it's like all around here and then I'll put one up here kind of like that now these are all going to be turned on actually I think I've done that one too high let me think about this they'll be up and that'll be in we'll test it out you can easily test this by just um, this is another redstone kind of basic I could teach as well. This is giving, if I put, these are both being powered by this because the redstone is actually running up into this, but this redstone block um, has also, this block here has got redstone signal from the, this going in there, so that pushes in. Um, this is just to quickly test if I've got the pistons in the right place. I do recommend doing this. They're up. You just want to make sure you've got them all in the right place so you don't have to dismantle everything if you got it wrong. So this is a very good test to do. Uh, so yeah, like I said, that's go down one more. Uh, like that. And that will push down into there. So that's all in the right place now. So now it's just really, now we've got this in place, it's kind of easy from here. All you have to do is to connect, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think this is called a T flip-flop. I'm not sure. I know it's a weird name. So once you've got all your pistons in place like this, and we've got the T flip-flop, we'll call it. I'm not sure if it is that name. But once we've got this set up, main thing to do now is just connect all these up. Now a good way to do this, if you want to be compact, is run redstone down there. Quickly break this. Block, repeater, repeater, repeater. So, because if you had redstone, 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 you could see that the redstone actually isn't running into the piston because it's connecting to the other ones. So to keep it just connected into the piston, just use repeaters. You can also add delays on this door if you want these ones to go out first but this one to come out a bit later you can change these or configure it what you want I'll show you some configurations later on what am I doing so attach this to here and as you can see they're on but when we counteract the signal it goes down which is what we want and like I said if you wanted to add a delay I could put three there three there and one there so you can see the middle one will go down first and then these ones will go down later 
as you can see. Yeah, you got me. So if you want to add that, but I'm not, I'm just going to keep it all on one. Um, okay, so now it's time to come up to these ones. Now, what we've got to remember is um, to keep, we want to keep this as a wall and this as a wall. So we don't want to be building redstone past this or in here. We can put it underneath the floor here, but we don't want it running over the floor. Well, if you don't want it to look neat, then I don't recommend doing that. So this is just a basic guideline for me, just to where what the walls will be so I know where I can build and where I can't build. And the roof will be there. Yeah. You can build it higher the roof actually. It doesn't really matter about the roof. We'll sort that out later. But what we need to do is remember we have to connect this redstone torch down here. You can do it any way you want, but connect this. Oh wait, I need to go down one more. Um we'll bring it up here. Up here. Like I said, definitely do this underground, I recommend, because look you can see I'm going above ground. And that's not good, but this would pretty much if you dig out a space with a pickaxe, then you can put this um straight into kind of uh like in the walls so you can't see it you know what i mean so like i said redstone is coming up here up this block which powers this block here this redstone will power this block um sending a redstone signal through to this pushing this open and this bit of redstone on top without that this would be shut but you can see this is still on but that extra bit of redstone just powers this one here so that's powered uh, pretty much just do the same the other side i can connect from here it won't make a difference it's still connected Actually, no, that's in the floor, actually. Um, I could connect up here, actually, because that won't actually be in the floor, if you know what I mean. It should be under the wall. Um, bring this round. I actually need to do this. And then one, two, three. And then we'll bring it round like this. And it's the same principle as the other side with the powering block thing. I've already explained that. So Now, the top one's the hardest to do, getting up to the top. Now, how I usually do this, just connect it straight off of this. Um, build like a staircase up here. Actually, we want to go down one more. Um, like this. And just bring the redstone, have a repeater so it doesn't run out of signal. Like this. That should work, yeah. And now this is down. Now, if we actually stand on this door, now why isn't that working then? This should, because this is activated. Hmm. All of them go out except these two. That's strange. Hmm. That is strange. Um. I'm not sure about that one. I've never had this issue. Okay, what if we put a repeater here? Ah, there we go. That's working. Okay, sorry about that. Um, but we've got it working now, so it's all good. It might have been this signal up here, actually. They might have been doing it. It's fixed now, so it's all good. So, yeah, be careful with this signal. I'll just change it, actually. That's definitely what it was. Actually, this is running above the roof. Now, oh, for God's sake. We'll just leave it as it was. It was working, so... Uh, if you're having troubles with that, it's probably what it is because the signal is running above it. But it's all fine now, okay. So that's it for this kind of counteracting redstone kind of bit. So now if we just do the walls, make it look a bit more pretty, kind of like the other one. So if we add the walls in here, uh, along here like this, I think that's right, yeah. And then bring it up one. I'm going to have redstone on the roof, but I'll cover that. Like I said, underground, this will not matter at all. Um, but building it on super flat is quite hard, really, because you've got red. If trying to be compact, I mean. So now we've got this lovely door, look, and it opens up. So we quickly cover this up. Oh. That's that block there, isn't it? Uh, it's quickly sorted, just like that. And then, because what this block was doing was cutting off the signal, which we don't want. So let's quickly put this all back, um, like this. This is not this is not really a tutorial in the sense of me going really slow, showing you how where to put blocks. It's kind of showing you the basics and you know how to do it because I've seen a lot of people on YouTube going really slow, like putting this block here, put this block here, kind of thing. But I'm just going for a more, um, 
you know, simple approach. Now, this bit can be hard, uh, placing the button without interrupting any other redstone signals. Now, this bit might be an issue. If I quickly, I have to put a repeater here, down like that. Because what I want to do is have the button here. It'd be easier on the other side, but I'm just thinking. Um, if I had, um, yeah, maybe I could do it here. Now, this is another redstone basic I'll quickly show you. If you have a button and a redstone torch on the other side, and you press it, you can see this sends a redstone signal through here, and as I said, it counteracts this. Same with the lever, but it stays off and doesn't, you know, you know what I mean. So, say if I was to have the button, let's check what that is. Yeah, that's fine, the middle one. Just here. Oh, didn't mean that. Say I have the button here, let's see if this inter um, goes wrong with anything. Yeah, okay, have that there. Does that all still work? Yeah, that's fine, I think. Just double check if if, if you've had new things, just double check, see if it all works. Um, and then we can bring this down here, I believe. Now, the thing to do with the button is connect it to this. Uh, actually, I've missed out something with the button. Um... This is hard with the button because you have to pick the exact right place. I think this side will have to be, do it really. Yeah. So what we do is we have a signal coming across here and we need to build another kind of T flip flop, whatever it is, like that. And we're gonna have to bring uh, to accidentally delete block. Bring the redstone down and kind of cut across, trying not to destroy anything as we go. and we have to connect it to this and we have to make sure if we put a repeater down it's facing towards the um, T flip flop that we built originally I'm calling it a T flip flop don't quote me if it is now this should work if I press this button if I put one here yep yeah. so now we've got the button working now as I said if this was underground you would already have this all patched up I'm quickly just patch this up like this See, as a tutorial, it's kind of like, not my first tutorial, because I've done tutorial Minecraft before, but I'm much more different when it comes to tutorials. I don't say, oh, put the block here, put the block there, like, I don't want you to copy me exactly, because if you're doing an underground base, this is a completely different scenario. You don't have to worry about patching it up and um, being compact, because you have all of the walls in the mine, like, next to you, if you know what I mean. So, it's a lot easier uh, if you're in underground, trust me, because I've made a door, plenty of doors like this underground. Um, it's quite a simple door if you know the redstone basics now I know a lot of people really are not good with redstone trust me I know all my friends aren't that good on servers with it they always ask me for help um, I've always been quite good with redstone um, another thing I'm good at on Minecraft is pixel art which I've I'm really quite good with that not boasting but you know that's what I'm quite good at with YouTube on um, Minecraft sorry not YouTube now I'm actually gonna have to bring this out one more just to cover the redstone like this now another thing I want to say guys is uh, my Minecraft Let's Play I know this isn't Minecraft Let's Play I uploaded two episodes today I think so lucky you eh um, yeah I'm not doing that at the moment I decided to just do something different like a redstone tutorial so how many is this coming out I want to keep it equal two three four five six um, but I do want to definitely implement some redstone onto my world but finding sticky pisses is the piss take in it finding um, slime balls um, and when this is all patched up there is one more thing actually we have to do if you want to make it look nice I mean you could just stop the video here because I've showed you how to build it and some redstone basics but if you want to watch how to make it really pretty nice and pretty at the end then continue watching now I'm not going to bother doing what I did with that one here because if I show you what's under here it's uh, all the redstone like on the top of the roof there but I'm not going to bother um, this is if this is underground this will look nice and pretty already now another thing you want to do if you want to make it look better is delete this block here diamond or whatever material you're using so that when the door opens it's actually like a ring and there's no like sandstone gaps in this case oh oh I certainly broke a bit of redstone by putting that there there we go um, so yeah as you can see it all opens walk through and I press this and it opens you can go back through so yeah, as I said, underground, you can make this all look really nice and pretty with vines coming down or whatever you want to do. 
like underground bases is kind of like my speciality on Minecraft. I'm quite good at doing them. Maybe I'll build an underground base in my Let's Play. Comment what you think. Comment if you want more redstone tutorials and this helped in any way, showing some, some redstone basics. Um, this isn't a series. Like, I'm not planning on making this a series. I just did a one-off kind of thing, just showing you how to do a nice door. Because a lot of people were asking, how do you do nice doors? And here you go. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want some more videos like let's play will be out tomorrow definitely i'll probably record one after this but it'll be uploaded tomorrow morning if anything so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you later peace out ah oh, cooked as well nice result but yeah another thing um